Hey everyone, did you know following the construction of the first skyscraper in 1885, building designs and building methods have improved substantially? We can now build taller and sturdier structures than ever before. So join me for today's video, because it's time to take a tour around the world to visit 15 new skyscrapers that look incredible. Number 15. Merdeka 118, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia currently boasts 148 skyscrapers, but it's one of the newest ones that's proven to be the record breaker and the most unusual. Known as Merdeka 118, it was completed in mid-2022 and became not only the tallest in the city, but the second tallest in the world. Estimated to cost $1.5 billion, the 118-story structure reaches a peak height of 2,233 feet, or about 680 meters, and is a part of a wider 19-acre development. 100 of the floors are rentable, which are made up mainly of high-grade offices, residential apartments, and hotels, while the remaining space has been kept for recreation facilities, like the highest observation deck in Southeast Asia, and a mall, plus various restaurants, along with 8,500 parking spaces. Amazingly, the skyscraper has 4.3 million square feet or 400,000 square meters of floor space and has direct road and rail connections. The unusual exterior has a mixture of diamond-shaped glass facades that were chosen to reflect the diversity of the Malaysian people, and for it to come to life at night has been fitted with 5.2 miles or 8 kilometers of LED lighting. Funded and developed by a state-owned organization, there have been concerns that Merdeka 118 was a waste of public funds, but the hope is it'll add to the attraction of the city to tourists and businesses and easily recoup its cost in the coming years. Number 14. Central Park Tower, New York Completed in 2020, the highly controversial Central Park Tower is a 1,550-foot or 472-meter-tall skyscraper that's located near the Central Park in New York between 57th Street and 58th Street in an area often referred to as Billionaire's Row. The structure itself is thought to have cost around $3 billion to build, and across its 98 floors and three basement levels has 1.28 million square feet of floor space. This is divided into a residential section with 179 condos, amenity spaces on three floors, a private club on the 100th floor, and a large Nordstrom department store in there too. And with luxurious fittings throughout, the plan was for 20 of the apartments to sell for more than $60 million each and for the penthouse to sell for around a hundred million. There's no doubt that the building is an impressive one, especially as it has a cantilevered design that sees some parts seem to hang out over the side. But even though a tall building like this is hardly something new in the city, this one in particular has been blamed for interfering with much-loved views of Central Park from various angles. So far, around a billion dollars worth of properties have been sold in the building, but the development company's hopes of turning a multi-billion dollar profit seem to have dwindled after having to discount a number of apartments to garner interest. Number 13. Landmark 81, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam The super-tall skyscraper called Landmark 81 is Vietnam's tallest building, and it's situated on the western bank of the Saigon River to the north of Ho Chi Minh City's historic center. Built by Vin Holmes, which is the country's largest real estate developer, it was part of a wider $1.5 billion regeneration project that aimed to make it a focal part of the area. At 1,513 feet or 461 meters tall, it was completed in 2018 with 81 stories and a total floor space of 2.59 million square feet or 241,000 square meters. Offering space for conference facilities, a retail center, restaurants, bars, residential units, and the highest observation deck in Vietnam, it's since become one of the most recognizable sites on the city skyline with its neo-futuristic design. Landmark 81 was widely seen as a test to discover whether skyscrapers like these could be successful in Ho Chi Minh, and the fact that most of the space has either been sold or rented, the company behind it has already gone back to the drawing board to begin preparations for something even taller in the near future. Number 12. Latte World Tower, Seoul, South Korea with 123 stories and reaching a maximum height of 1,823 feet or 555 meters, the Lotte World Tower is the tallest structure in South Korea and currently ranks sixth in the world. 
after seven years of work, it finally opened in 2017, and with 3.2 million square feet or 300,000 square meters of floor space, it's used for offices, hotels, residential, and commercial purposes, with an observation lounge on the top six levels that feature a glass floor and a telescope for looking into the night sky. It's located in the Songpa district of Seoul and was designed to resemble a slender cone with curved sides and used pale colored glass on the exterior to represent traditional Korean ceramics. Possibly the most impressive technical aspect of this skyscraper, though, is its roof. Made from around 3,000 tons of steel, it was put in place using GPS precision instruments and was built to withstand earthquakes of up to magnitude 9 and wind speeds in excess of 180 miles an hour. Luckily, though, these are conditions that are only expected to happen in South Korea once in a thousand years, so the Latte World Tower should stand strong for a long time yet. Number 11. St. Regis, Chicago Originally known as the Wanda Vista Tower, St. Regis, Chicago was completed in 2020 and became the third tallest building in the Windy City. Made up of three interconnected towers that reach at the peak a height of 1,198 feet or 365 meters, it holds the record as being the tallest structure in the world that was designed by a woman. It cost upwards of a billion dollars to make it a reality, and the idea was that it would look like a stepped building, which used glass panels of varying shades to give it an undulating appearance. Inside, there's 1.4 million square feet or 131,000 square meters of floor space, and this has been split into 393 condos and 191 hotel suites across 101 floors. Of course, being in a place that's not exactly known for calm weather, a series of clever solutions were designed to ensure it stands strong in that wind. These include uninhabited blow-through floors that allow the wind to disperse, as well as a huge reinforced concrete spine in the middle, and six tanks that contain more than 400,000 gallons or a million and a half liters of water and are used to counteract the wind's forces. Number 10. Address Boulevard, Dubai, United Arab Emirates Dubai is renowned for its skyscrapers, not just for how quickly so many have been built, but because it's where you'll find the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. But a building doesn't have to be the tallest to be spectacular. Completed in 2017, the 1,214-foot or 370-meter-tall Address Boulevard is a luxury hotel in downtown Dubai. With 73 floors, it has 523 premium serviced apartments and 196 five-star hotel rooms, and with stunning views in every direction, has since become one of the most sought-after places to stay in the city. It proved to be so popular because of its concrete and glass postmodern design that the company that developed it was able to sell all of the serviced residences on the first day that they were made available to purchase in 2012, a feat that's virtually unheard of, particularly for skyscrapers that have so much space to sell. Across the structure are three swimming pools and one of the best restaurants in Dubai. And to keep that multicultural feel, the floors are adorned with 251 purposefully commissioned artworks by 48 well-known artists from around the world. It's buildings like these that keep Dubai at the forefront of skyscraper construction to make you wonder what the hell they'll do next. Number 9. Tianjin CTF Finance Center, Tianjin, China Countless skyscrapers have been built in China in the past decade, but perhaps the most impressive is the Tianjin CTF Finance Center in the central business district of Tianjin in the north of the country. Completed in 2019, it's the second tallest in the city and reaches a maximum height of 1,740 feet or about 530 meters. There are 97 floors with a total space of 2.7 million square feet, or about 252,000 square meters, and most of it is taken up by office space as well as serviced apartments and hotel rooms. Almost looking like a spaceship waiting to launch, the unusual shape of the skyscraper is all part of its ingenious design. As the tallest building in the world with fewer than 100 floors, the curved glass skin wraps around eight sloping mega columns that increases its rigidity during seismic events. The way the floors have been arranged also means that the tower tapers as it gets higher, and this reduces the exterior surface area that's exposed to the elements, and it also aids with keeping a constant internal environment. The glass facade also has the effect of reflecting the sun's light during the day to make it glimmer, and when it's dark, the top of the tower is illuminated to shine like a diamond. Number 8. One Vanderbilt, New York 
built on the corner of 42nd Street and Vanderbilt Avenue in New York and completed in 2020. The $3.3 billion One Vanderbilt is the fourth tallest building in the city. With 93 floors, it reaches a peak height of 1,401 feet or 427 meters and has approximately 1.75 million square feet or about 163,000 square meters of floor space. It was purposefully designed to complement Grand Central Terminal, which is close by and features a wedge-shaped void at the base and has a tapered form as it rises before a series of pavilions and pinnacle at the top. The superstructure itself is made from steel and concrete, with the exterior covered almost entirely in glass. And amazingly, some of the interior spaces are up to 105 feet or 32 meters tall. The ground floor of the skyscraper has a bank and an entrance to the subway, and apart from the restaurant on the second and observation deck on the top, the remaining floors are all used as office space, mainly by financial institutions. While it may not be the most extravagant of buildings in New York, industry experts were impressed by the way it's been designed to minimize the impact on the ground, so sacrifice potential profit in order to keep simpler pedestrian access and other forms of transport in the surrounding area. Now that it's more than 91% occupied, this could well be an ethos that's adopted by future super tall buildings in the city. Number seven, Hyundai LCT The Sharp, Busan, South Korea. Located on the coastline of Busan in South Korea, Hyundai LCT The Sharp was part of a large redevelopment project looking to boost the local economy. Three towers were built, two of which are 85-story residential skyscrapers, but the centerpiece is the third, which has 101 floors and reaches a height of 1,350 feet, or 411 meters. Completed in 2019, the ground levels of the skyscraper house an entertainment complex that includes a shopping center, water park, and a hot spring spa, while the remaining floors are for luxury hotels, a convention center, and an observatory on the top level. In total, across the three structures, there's 7.1 million square feet or 660,000 square meters of floor space. And the largest tower not only holds the record for being the second tallest building in South Korea, but was also voted bizarrely as having the second nicest toilet facilities in the country too. The success of the development has been the first step of a plan to entrench Busan as an economic and tourism powerhouse in its own right. And after proving there's enough demand for buildings like these, it's expected that the shoreline will look very different in just a decade, with at least four further skyscrapers now in the planning stages. Number 6. Autograph Tower, Jakarta, Indonesia a huge development in central Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia, called Thamrin 9, not only brought much-needed office, residential, and entertainment venues to the city, but also saw the construction of the tallest building in the southern hemisphere. At the center is the 1,256-foot or 382.9-meter-tall autograph tower, which was completed in 2020 and was the first super-tall structure in the country. It has 75 above ground and 6 underground floors, and it's split in two with the lower half being used as office space, and the upper half as a Waldorf Astoria hotel. The three top floors, though, were reserved for an observation deck and a sky garden, and the idea is that the two other towers that form part of the wider development will provide further amenities such as restaurants and commercial space, as well as designed residential units and additional hotels to make the site an exclusive luxury destination in its own right. The authorities in Jakarta are looking for ways in which to compete with the world's other leading cities and feel that one of the ways to do this is by maximizing the use of space with the construction of skyscrapers. Thamrin 9 is seen by many as a proof of concept and could well be replicated in other areas that are seen as being in need of rejuvenation. Number 5. NBK Tower, Kuwait City, Kuwait Completed in 2020, the MBK Tower is one of the newest additions to the skyline of Kuwait City and is undoubtedly a standout structure amongst several other skyscrapers. Measuring 985 feet or 300 meters tall, it's the headquarters of the National Bank of Kuwait and had to be redesigned to be comfortable for all of the employees in Kuwait's notoriously hot and arid climate, where temperatures often exceed 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. It's in the center of the city's financial district and utilizes a series of curved fins that both support the tower and provide shade from the scorching sun. The floor plates are tapered inwards towards the base, which increase floor space towards the top, and a number of new technologies have been incorporated to reduce water consumption and maintain a cool climate inside. 
While most of the building is used exclusively by the bank, there's a double-height restaurant, a ballroom, and an extravagant auditorium with views out across the surrounding area, as well as a triple-height boardroom on the 48th floor, and the chairman's club in the tower's apex. Almost looking like a sail in the middle of a desert, it's certainly one of the most unique skyscrapers to be built in recent years, and it proves that they don't have to be boring concrete boxes. Number 4. Lakta Center, St. Petersburg, Russia At a cost of $1.7 billion, the needle-like Lakta Center was built by Gazprom, the Russian energy company, on a waterfront location in St. Petersburg. Works were completed in 2019, and with 87 floors above ground and three below, it reaches a maximum height of 1,516 feet, or about 462 meters, and offers a total floor space of 1.75 million square feet, or 163,000 square meters. It is the tallest building in Russia, something that stands out even more considering there aren't any other skyscrapers nearby and very few developments in the surrounding area. It was designed to be a multi-function building, along with the support structure around its base. And while it offers substantial office space, it also has a sports center, a children's science center, a huge exhibition space, a conference center, and free access to an observation deck near the top. It was also used as a demonstration of some of the latest green technologies, with methods for recycling the heat that's produced by machinery and noise reduction techniques. Also, as opposed to skyscrapers elsewhere, the cold climate in the city significantly increases the likelihood of ice forming higher up. So to overcome this, metal gousing was used on the windows instead of glass. Number 3. Abraj Albaid Clock Tower, Mecca, Saudi Arabia the incredible Abraj al Bayit Clock Tower is the main building that's part of a wider development of seven skyscraper hotels that were completed in Mecca, Saudi Arabia in 2012. They were a central part of the King Abdulaziz endowment project that was commissioned to modernize large parts of the city to accommodate pilgrims and are located just a few minutes walk from the holiest place in Islam, the Great Mosque of Mecca. As well as being the biggest clock in the world, the clock tower is the sixth tallest structure on the planet and reaches a maximum height of 1,972 feet, or 601 meters. Inside is a huge hotel that's operated by Fairmont Hotels and Resorts, and it's linked to a shopping center too. There is a clock face on each of the four sides of the tower, and they measure 141 feet by 141 feet, or 43 meters by 43 meters. Behind them are an astronomy exhibition, a center that's used to sight the moon at the beginning of the Islamic holy months, and an atomic clock to ensure the time being displayed is always precise. Amazingly, the clock faces are so large that they can be seen more than 25 miles or 40 kilometers away, and they're adorned with 98 million pieces of glass in mosaic, all illuminated by 2 million LED lights, so they can be seen at night. In a sign of just how huge they are, the hour hand is 59 feet or 18 meters long, and the minute hand is an enormous 75 feet or 23 meters long. Number 2. The Exchange 106, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia The Tun Razak Exchange was a large development project in central Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, and its main feature is the Exchange 106, a super-tall skyscraper that was completed in 2019. At 1,462 feet or 445 meters tall, it's the third highest in Malaysia, and over 106 floors, it has 2.6 million square feet or 240,000 square meters of floor space. It was seen as the pet project of the former Prime Minister Najib Razak, and despite claiming it was about urban regeneration, there are still many who believe it was a complete waste of money. On its own, it's certainly an impressive looking structure, but while it has a modern design, it's hardly in keeping with the architecture of the surrounding area. Rather than offering residential or entertainment space, the Exchange 106 was specifically targeted at international finance and investment companies looking for a prestigious base of operations in Malaysia, an endeavor that's proven to be moderately successful, with around half of the floor space currently occupied. Still, with a huge effort to supercharge the local economy, it is quite possible that in a few years' time, it'll be regarded as a resounding success. Number 1. The Steinway Tower, New York 
The Steinway Tower, which is officially known as 111 West 57th Street, is a residential skyscraper in Midtown Manhattan that was completed in 2022. It was built on top of the 16-story Steinway Hall, which was built in the 1920s and was perfectly preserved and reaches a height of 1,428 feet or 435 meters. Believed to have cost around $2 billion to build, it has 84 floors with around half a million square feet or 53,000 square meters of interior space that's divided up into 60 luxury condos. If that sounds like a surprisingly little space for a building that tall, then you'd be right, as it is substantially less than in skyscrapers of a similar height. The reason, though, is that the Steinway Tower holds the unusual record by far of being the thinnest skyscraper in the world which is something that was only possible with the latest construction techniques. Since it was finished, it's been referred to as skinny scraper, and yet another example of the wealth inequality in the city. But it's also regarded as one of the most elegant structures on Billionaire's Row, and one that rather than requiring other buildings to be demolished, made use of those that were already there and was built above them. Whether skinny skyscrapers like this one are to become a thing of the future, or because of their cost are simply a luxury indulgence is yet to be seen, but it's undoubtedly an extremely clever design and shows that New York doesn't have to have the tallest buildings to remain the skyscraper capital of the world. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.